and welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2023, sponsored by the power of Red Arc. Now beside me is the Oz RV by MDC XL15E Mark II. Now, the name has a lot in it, it's a bit of a mouthful, and this camper, it is a hamburger with the lot. So let's get inside. The MDC is one of the largest campers we've seen at Camper Trailer of the Year. This one has an internal bathroom and two ways to cook, both inside and out. Now that matters because to me, I see this appealing greatly to young families who want to be able to get away from the environment. I really like the composite insulated sandwich board that lines the outside of the expander component around the bed space. What it does is it creates an environment that is bound to be a lot more appealing in inclement conditions than what could otherwise be either a really frigid or a bit of a hot box. While there's room to improve the rear latching mechanism to make it a little bit easier to close that expander component for people of about my size, uh, we spoke to the guys at MDC about this and they say they're all over it like white on rice. While this hybrid had 650 watts of solar, it had a 200 amp hour lithium battery and a 1000 watt projector inverter. I was impressed with the size of the ensuite, plus the included diesel heater and air conditioning. Now, Tim spoke to us about this being probably a, a camper for a couple, but to my eye, it's really sympathetic to an older couple or to people with mobility issues. What we found with the MDC was a really big living space inside. It was a massive bed. The dinette area, the, the club lounge was easy to access and to move around. And the ensuite component, it was massive. It had a really thoughtful addition as well, which was that the, the toilet seat actually swivels. So you don't find yourself sitting in there with your nose pressed against the ensuite wall. Generally speaking, the fit and finish, especially underneath the MDC, is as good as it gets for a hybrid of the sector. For cooking, this camper is serviced by uh, two really nice uh, kitchen areas, both serviced by Thetford stoves, and one pantry that can be accessed both from inside and outside the camper. I thought that was a really nice touch. It stops you having to move from one part of the camper to the other when you're cooking. And of course, the one thing I really like to see in a camper of this size is the fact that it had an electric activated roof. So no winding handles and none of that difficult pushing that you sometimes find with hybrids of this nature. The amount of acronyms that were being thrown at us about the way that MDC designed their campers was astounding. Almost every part of it is either FEA designed and engineered or done at the absolute 10th degree through CAD. Now that all comes together to end up with a really decent warranty, which is lifetime on the structure. The thing is, if you did have a problem, MDC also has one of the best support networks we've seen with nine dedicated people in the customer service team alone and eight owned stores nationwide. The MDC was a real surprise package. A lot of imports can be lower on the quality side, but not this hybrid. It is one I would definitely consider.